Here are your announcements. Good afternoon, Geneva. Today is Motivation Monday. It's okay to be a glow stick. Sometimes we have to break before we can shine. Cold weather is approaching. If you are in need of scarves, gloves, coats, or any other clothing items or necessities, stop by Rachel's Corner in the Media Center and pick up whatever you need. If there's something you need but can't find, it's either Mrs. Christopher or Mr. Hunt. The Penny Wars competition will continue through this week. Caleb Selman donated $50 to Sabotage the Juniors, while Jordan Cetos gave large containers of pennies in support of the sophomores. Terry Downey also contributed plenty of quarters and dimes to the sophomores bucket and pennies to the seniors. Let's keep this friendly rivalry going. Remember, all proceeds will be donated to Sydney Brown. The full-length version of Changing Our Voices in Distress will be available on the GHS Media YouTube channel over Thanksgiving break. In the meantime, enjoy this preview. Oh, I love thee. Let me count the ways. Our souls and homecoming dance and everything we ever dreamed of for our senior year. We can't know that. They told us three weeks. We were supposed to go back in three weeks. Nobody knows anything. They're all just guessing. Zoe, my mother could get COVID and die. I, I worked hard for my senior year. I worked hard for my graduation. Have you been outside since March? I walk down my lane every day to get the mail, all the mail out. I wear gloves and I use this grabber thing I swipe for my grandpa. It's pretty nifty, but not so good at picking up big cases of hand sanitizer. I make my little sister get those. Your little sister is like eight. Seven and a half, but she is strong. I make her wear gloves too, and then I spray her down with this homemade vinegar solution I found online. Vinegar? Well, I was using bleach, but she complained that it burned her skin, and bleach was easy to come by, my friend. This is utterly ridiculous. How can they have a ceremony at the Rose Garden with over 100 people, and yet we can't even have a musical with an audience of 47 people? How many times do I have to tell you to stop listening to Tally? She always makes things worse. You'll call me, right? As soon as I can talk to her. Hi, Vince. What, what's wrong? I was trying to talk to my grandma, but they moved her to a respirator. particularly mind being stuck in quarantine or forbidden not to go anywhere. I'm content with my surroundings and I feel comfortable in my own skin. As long as I stay connected, I'll be okay. I need some help understanding my schedule. Now we're doing this weird thing called hybrid. I thought that was a type of car. It's like a combination or a mixture. It says that the alphabet is split in half so that half of us will be going on Monday and Tuesday and the other half on Thursday and Friday. What about Wednesday? Uh, cleaning and planning. I am not cleaning. I don't mind cleaning, so you do the planning. I don't think it's for us. Then who's it for? Do both parts of the alphabet clean? Or... Sick of this stupid virus that isn't even real. What's real is how crazy it's made everyone. How crazy it's made my friends. I just want my life back. No, no masks, no social distancing, no worrying about stupid stuff anymore. I'm tired of tallying her stupid information and st stupid media and the stupid government and stupid people telling me what I can and cannot do. Wipes. Hand sanitizer. Plexiglass. Shields. Mask. Gloves. Lysol. Clorox. Chloroquin. We're trying to make things work. It's funny. Everyone wears the real mask on their face and all those pretend masks are gone now. Mine is. I don't feel like I have to pretend to be someone I'm not. I can have my own opinions and everyone still like me for me. I don't know why I didn't know this before coronavirus. Maybe it made me get real. COVID-19 has changed all of us. Has made some of us better. And some of us worse. 
What we realized was that after we stopped listening to everyone else's voices, we could hear our own. Have a magnificent Monday, Geneva.